What is up guys, it is Zach Ploche, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to store secret keys in Django. Uh, the reason I brought this up is because there's a fairly popular uh, Stack Overflow post called Where to Store Secret Keys in Django. This guy, for the life of me, I have been looking for this everywhere and have not found the answer. I hope I am not posting a duplicate. It is, it is advised everywhere that you should keep your secret keys in a separate file from your general settings.py. Also, that you should never commit your secret.py file that contains uh, keys such as secret key, AWS secret key, and so on. Uh, my question is, in your production server, you need to reference your secret keys. That means your uh, that means that your secret dot pi settings file should live somewhere around the server, right? If so, how do you protect your secret keys in production? So this was a question that I had as well, and um, this question was answered by two people. So one of them, let's see if I scroll past here. Uh, initially, it was this one, uh, or uh, let's see, where was it? Which, oh yeah, so this 43 likes one. So it says, see the Django deployment docs for discussion. Um, and uh, this guy gave this pretty, not that apparent version of how to set this up. Like all he says is, okay, import OS and then secret key OS and Byron secret key. Um, which wasn't really that descriptive. Um, and then I, okay, so uh, just for full disclosure, I did write this one that has more likes now. And um, yeah, I show step-by-step -step process by, uh, in a step-by-step -step process how to do it because I didn't feel as a beginner that the other one was enough instruction. And I find that to be the case in quite a few areas in some documentation. So uh, I decided to write everything out here. And uh, this is what I'm going to show. And also, if we do look at the Django documentation for this, let's see Django. All right, so if we look specifically at the Django docs, uh, it tells us here, critical settings, secret key. The secret key must be a large random value and it must be kept secret. Make sure that the key used in production isn't anywhere else and avoid committing it to ensure or uh, to, or avoid committing it to source control. So that means avoid committing it to GitHub. It reduces the number of vectors from which an attacker may acquire the key. Instead of hard coding the secret key in your settings module, consider loading it from an environment variable. So it does show us import OS secret key equals OS dot environ uh, or from a file like so. But um, like that's really not enough. Like it doesn't say anything about, OK, how do I store that in the environment uh, or whatever? It doesn't give you really much here. Uh, so. Uh, I came along and I wrote this pretty big and appreciated, it looks like, um, this post on step-by-step -step how to use it. So one method is through this .env, but, um, and uh, what we're going to do is use Python decouple because that was an easier package or solution that I found. And uh, someone showed that to me, I forgot who exactly, but either way, we will do that right now. So. Let's go ahead and create our basic project. And all we're doing, we're literally just setting up the secret key. So uh, secure, let's see, secure, secure, Django, secure secret key project. I'm gonna right click here, open up this with code. So uh, this time when I set this up, I'm going to create both the virtual environment and the uh, Git repository and to show you how to keep it secure. So now that we have our command line up, let's go ahead and say pip env shell. So first we'll log in there. And also at the same time, we will create our git repository. So we're gonna say git init like so. And once our virtual environment is done installing, we're gonna say pip install Django. And uh, right now all we're gonna install is Django. So let's let that go. And once that is done, we will create our project. So we're gonna say Django admin start project config dot. So first I'm gonna show you a simple configuration in order for this to work. Then I'm going to show you a more complex one. So let's go into our settings and use, uh, at first we're only going to use a single settings.py file. Then I'm gonna show you how to separate this out. So it's a bit easier to work with on uh, localhost and in production. Uh, so we have our base directory. We have the se uh, secret key. So let's go ahead and make this secure. What we're going to need as well as Django is we're going to pip install python-decouple. 
So that's going to install. And now that we have that, we can go up here and say, or uh, let's more accurately below here, we're going to say from the couple import config. And uh, yeah, so currently this is yellow because I haven't set this environment here. So secure secret key project. If I open up this and type in secure secret key project here, make sure my VS code environment matches my virtual environment. Now that goes away. If I reloaded the window, it would turn green and it might turn green anyway. So let's go to the, to the secret key. So this is the insecure one. Let's go ahead and do the following. So we're gonna delete everything after that equal sign and we're going to say config and then write secret key here now uh, what this is doing is on your computer or on your server there are certain environment variables that we are able to use in our projects uh, now um, in order to access this locally like this is the easiest way that i've found to do this you can create a env file and then all we're going to do is set the secret key with an equal sign to whatever the secret key is going to be. So if I set it to ABC, which is not a secure secret key, so uh, don't use this one, use a one that can be generated. And um, and actually, you know what? I will show you how to do this. So we're gonna pip install a package called Django extensions. We're going to add this package into our installed apps. So Django underscore extensions, like such. Then we're going to say python manage.py generate secret underscore key. All right, and now we have this guy. So let's go here, copy that, go to our .env file. We're gonna paste it, whoops. Like so, and now we have our, have our secret key on uh, for our project. Um, now, uh, we're also going to need a .git ignore. So this, all we're going to write here is .env. So this is not being tracked. And um, let's see, so after we add this, yeah. So as you can see, this file turned dark and now it won't be put up to our Git repo um, or our GitHub repository. So no one else can be able to see whatever is in here in case this is a true secret um now uh the default behavior of this uh from decouple import config uh, package um this uh, their config method will automatically search for the env file so you don't really have to do a whole bunch of extra stuff in order to set this up um so like if we run this or try to run something and we say print secret underscore key we should get it just a basic Django server working. And if not, uh, well, we will fix that. So manage that high run server. Okay, yeah, so it prints it. I printed it twice, uh, interestingly enough. So let's open this and uh, yeah. Yep, now we have that dummy Django page. Um, so that's one way to do this. This is the easiest way to secure it, by the way. Um, and normally on something like Heroku, uh, if we were to look um, in their settings and actually i can show you because i do have a few heroku projects so let me just go to heroku.com so uh, i'm going to open up one of my heroku projects and if we go to settings and this is just like a dummy project so it doesn't matter if i show you this um inside of this config variables here if we revig uh reveal config variables we can see here uh you can add your secret key in this area on your project and it will still work in using this config package. Uh, so you can add it somewhere here. And I do have all of these instructions in here in written format as well. So yeah, and I show you how to walk through this, even do it in command line. Uh, so yeah, and like that's basically all there is to getting this to run properly. Uh, now, um, I did say that I have a, another method of doing this that makes it a bit easier to work with whenever you're on, uh, when just for your development process in Django in general. So the way to do this is first, I'm going to create a settings file or a settings folder with an init.py inside of that. I'm going to take this settings.py uh, settings file, move it inside of here, 
rename it to base, like so. I'm going to add the extra dot parent here. Now I'm going to go here, add this. We're going to grab these guys. So I'm just going to delete that. We're going to create two more files in this settings folder. We're going to create a dev.py and a production.py. We're going to paste that code in both of these. At the top, we're going to say from.base import star. From.base import star. Now that we move this here, we're going to need to go to manage.py, set our dot dev, uh, set dot uh, config dot settings dot dev as the environment or as the default uh, settings module, uh, because we want to run our production settings by default and our, or uh, sorry, our development settings by default and our production settings in production, of course. Uh, and to do that, we just change this environment variable, which you would do in Heroku or wherever you are hosting. Uh, so you'll do it here. You'll also do it inside of WSGI. So dot dev, boom, and ASGI, which I still couldn't tell you what this does to this day, but that is another section where that shows up. Uh, so with that being said, inside of here, we're going to change the debug in production to false and change a lot host to whatever that needs to be. We're, in this file, we're going to keep this config secret key. In development, though, to have an easier time, uh, you may want to just set this to something basic like, I don't know, ABC or whatever the default one is, because in development, it doesn't actually matter what your um, environment variable or like what your secret key is, because it's development. Uh, unless you're, like, you're trying to find some, I don't know, maybe specific cache password sequencer or something like that um, but otherwise that is pretty much the whole process for at uh, this moment so yeah so you can just clean this up and yeah so you don't actually need config in this file anymore so let's just bring that to production from the couple import config and there you go so let's try to run this locally run server does it still work Yeah, and let's see one thing also. So let's say you still want to use this config thing for some reason here from decouple import config and say uh, we want to say config secret key. But let's say that, um, yeah, and this is why normally I'll just use this or like use a normal string instead of config inside of here because if like someone else is working on your project locally and you don't have like because this .env file isn't being pushed to anywhere and you delete it, what happens if we try to run the server once again? Pi manage.py run server. Right, it won't work because uh, you don't have a .env file. So if someone else tries to work on it locally, it's not gonna really work. So that is why in the development, it might be better to use some Django insecure, blah, 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 whatever, or a random secret key, or because it doesn't actually matter that much, just ABC is probably good enough. So that is actually the full tutorial. I'm not gonna go into all the other settings. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into all the other settings because uh, there's no need and this is just a single video only on the secret key. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. If you like the content, of course, subscribe, hit the bell and all of that stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and bye for now.